Hi folks and welcome to the next video tutorial in this series around Apple Business Manager. In this video I will show you the simple process of how to 1. Purchase an iOS app in Apple Business Manager 2. Perform a manual token synchronization and 3. Use Microsoft Intune to assign the app for deployment. Do keep in mind that we must have an active VPP token available in Microsoft Intune. Otherwise, synchronization between Microsoft Intune and Apple Business Manager will fail. Before we continue, be sure to check out our previous video, Setup Volume Purchase Program for Microsoft Intune, by clicking the banner in the top right corner if you have not yet linked your Apple Business Manager to Microsoft Intune for VPP application management. Then circle back to this video once complete. So, without further ado, let's get started. Ensure you have two browser tabs open. One tab signed into Microsoft Intune which is available at endpoint.microsoft.com and a second tab signed into Apple Business Manager, which is available at business.apple.com. We want to ensure the VPP token linked with our Microsoft Intune is indeed active. Click Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens, then click Apple VPP Tokens. Clicking the token, we can see the state is valid. Head over to Apple Business Manager Portal. Click Apps and Books from the left-hand side menu. We want to purchase Microsoft Outlook for iOS. However, as you can see, the app is not yet available in the list. Click into the search text field and type in Outlook. Once Outlook displays in the search results, click Microsoft Outlook for iOS. To purchase licenses for Microsoft Outlook, we must select a location to assign the purchased licenses to. The location is the VPP token, which binds Apple Business Manager to Microsoft Intune. In this example, only one token is available and so I will select it. In the quantity field, enter the number of licenses that are required. Remember, you can purchase additional licenses afterward if you do not have enough. Click Get when you are ready to complete the purchase. Once the licenses are purchased, head over to the search text field and click the X to clear the text. Now, you will see Microsoft Outlook in the list. Clicking Microsoft Outlook, we can see under Manage Licenses how many licenses are assigned to each VPP token. You can use this feature to review and manage licenses for multiple tokens, which is a topic we plan to cover in future videos. Head back over to your Microsoft Intune portal. Once again, click Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens, then click Apple VPP Tokens. Side scroll to the far right to find three horizontal dots. Click this button to reveal additional settings and commands. Click the Sync button to initiate a manual synchronization between Microsoft Intune and Apple Business Manager. Allow up to five minutes for the synchronization to complete a full cycle. In the left side menu, click Apps, and then iOS iPad OS Apps. And here we can see Microsoft Outlook is available with the app type of iOS Volume Purchase Program app. If you are liking this video and want to see more videos like this, do make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so as not to miss an update. Click Microsoft Outlook to review additional details about the app. Clicking Properties and scrolling down, we can validate that the available licenses match the value purchased earlier within Apple Business Manager. Next, we want to assign the app ready for deployment to devices. Click Edit next to Assignments. Under Required, click Add Group. In this example, I will click Corporate Devices Group. Click Select to confirm. Once you are happy with the assignment, 
Click Review and Save, then click Save to confirm your changes. And there you have it. You've successfully purchased an iOS VPP app, performed a manual token sync and assigned a VPP app for deployment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.